this year. Hello, you've reached the Mitchells. Good morning, ma'am. This is Lieutenant Hank Smith of Joint Task Force Delta from Joint Base McGuire. I'm phoning about your son, Robert. I'm afraid that he... If this, if war, is the dark side of the human experience, medicine has always been the light, the hope. For America's military, that hope starts here. The Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences in Bethesda, Maryland. Our nation's leadership academy for military medicine. Where adaptive and dynamic physicians, nurses, leaders, healers are forged. Where students develop the confidence and capabilities to deliver selfless service in the most austere and uncertain environments where interactive learning and innovative research is focused on ensuring that America's warfighters are prepared for the unexpected, wherever they are called. Here, with the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, all military services are joined together on a unique academic medical campus to participate in unequaled joint military medical education, training, and research. The Uniformed Services University must continue to build upon the legacy of medical and technological advances to give our men and women in service the best chance for survival and return to duty and beyond, because they deserve it. Our next generation education and research facility is being designed to be flexible and responsive to a changing world to improve and expand the training of military caregivers and to accelerate the discovery and delivery of clinical knowledge and breakthrough solutions to deployed clinicians. Even as the military mission continues to evolve, the construction of this advanced facility will enable our students, faculty, and researchers to continue to collaborate to explore and to address the most challenging aspects of military medicine. Have researchers been working on ways to help my son? How will precision medicine change care in combat? Can we use robotic surgery in a forward deployed environment? What are the telltale signs of traumatic brain injury on the battlefield? Can we create a virtual reality tool that simulates an explosion on board a ship? Is there a way to bioprint artificial skin grafts on an emergency medical aircraft? How can we prepare our forces for the next infectious disease? Will our outbreak? training in digital medicine save lives in combat Will operations? Will be able to save my dad? Is there any way that we can train to provide medical care in space? With more work, you can walk out of here on your own. I'm okay, Mom. I'm coming home. The Uniformed Services University. Bringing hope and learning to care for those in harm's way with professionalism, integrity, and compassion for the next 50 years.